So we're back. <laughs> we're back. Uh, so next thing on the thing is what we were uh, pretty trying to touch on increase in uh, clothing price points and, 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 and the expansion of second hand markets. So I don't know. I feel like in the last couple of years with uh, just the internet and social media and, and ways of communicating through social media, like there's just been uh, more of a prominent open market. I feel like at one point, like all we had to work with was like eBay. Right, and then there became like, other sites that would sell stuff like uh, Etsy and um, I'm trying to think of another one. There was a couple others, but then it became uh, like where you could start your own store. Yeah, like, uh, or cartel. What was that called? There's a couple of them. Yeah. I mean, I don't really want to shout them out. They're not fucking sponsoring this. Okay. So, but nah. there's, 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 nah. uh, there are some big sites that do secondhand like selling and stuff, um, and have like a lot of heat. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, Facebook does that too. Yeah, Facebook, Facebook does that. I mean, you know, like, talking about eBay, eBay is definitely like a source for Jordans. Like, no one's really selling. Even before eBay, we had fucking like Nike Talk. We had Nike Talk and we had, uh, Soul yeah, I don't think I was here. Jay was not an American citizen at that point. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, he was residing in the in the jungle Asian continent of or, uh, uh, country of the Philippines. Republic of the Philippines. Republic of the fucking Philippines. This one it is officially called the nation be home. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, so, yeah, so that was, like, the initial thing, like, I remember, like, the selling and trading forum threads on there were, like, a big deal. Uh, but even then, though, it was kind of shitty. And it wasn't until, uh, places like eBay popped up that kind of, uh, gave you, like, a more legit place to buy things. Because on Nike Talk, there would be people selling fakes, people doing all types of shady shit. Like, you didn't know what the fuck was going on at the time. And then eBay popped up and it made it a little bit more legit. And, you know, then eBay came out with like buyer and seller protection and it became a little bit more legit. But now you have tons of sites. Tons of sites that are just pretty much uh, like user to user sales and trade. Um, and you can be flagged on these sites if you sell like fake shit and never be allowed on them again. And, uh, Which I think is a good thing. But at the same time, the people that are checking this, are they qualified to be able to check for it? Yeah, like I had this hat I was selling on one of these sites. And uh, I got an email about it one day from uh, the guy who runs it. And he said, hey man, uh, I need to provide like, uh, proof of purchase for this hat you got. And it was a Supreme Camp hat. The camp was Anyway, someone had like accused me of like selling fake shit, and I was like, so my email, I was like really upset with them because one, it's not fucking fake, and two, um, like I was just wondering, like you know, because it's supreme, like what fuckboy like decided to like say that this is fake, you know what I mean? I only had like a few pictures on there or whatever, but like it was like the tags and shit like that. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I was concerned that uh, you know. Like my reputation on this website or whatever yeah. was going to be tarnished because of this fucking prick. And so, you know, like, I actually ended up squeezing, like, the first and last name out of, like, the owner of this website. So I'd never, like, sell him the hat in the event that he, like, still, like, you know, sent me an offer for it or something, like, after, <clears throat> after, like, the fact, like, you know, he was, like, trying to, like, get it, like, take yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And so, you know, <clears throat> after uh, I gave him, like, the proof of purchase, which I was surprised I had, because it was, like, you know, Old as shit, and yeah, not that old. It was like you know, 2005. Don't really anyway, like, for your head, that's what I'm so. saying. It's a goddamn camp yeah, head. Yeah, you know, yeah. like just by chance, I did end up stumbling upon it. Like if not, like some like fuckboy would have taken down like my whole profile on this website. But th this is the whole thing. Look, if you can't tell what the fucking face are from the real one, then do your fucking research. Okay? Everybody else that's been in the game for a long time, like, had to do their research themselves. Like, nobody else is fucking, like, no individual is, like, okay from that. You know, and if you can't tell if it's real or fake, then don't fucking buy it. 
I think that's because, like, you know, the, the 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 new generation. I don't know what to call them, but like, they're fed they, all this they, fucking fake bullshit. Yeah, like they they don't have the same appreciation as us, you know. Like when, you know, funny funny enough, like I met you and like all my other friends through like this culture, which is like pretty really amazing, right? And now I feel like everybody just like like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like basically like killing each other just for the shit. When back then it was more of like yo. Let's all go get this shit together. Yeah, yeah, the culture is definitely you know, disintegrated, that's for sure. Like, in a lot of ways, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. been perpetuated to something totally different, like, being that I've been, like, really interested yeah, in clothing yeah. for such a long time. Mm-hmm. You've seen it be, like, you know, at times really popular, and, like, right now it's really popular. But at other times, like, no one gives a good goddamn. Especially, yeah. like, you know, like, where we are right now. It's like a combination of things. It's it's like uh, them not doing do like uh, no more sneaker lines. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't camp for sneakers anymore. There's that. Then there's just That's a thing now? the hype machine. Yeah, like, you can't camp for sneakers anymore. There's a riot. I feel like a lot of us became friends from from, from camping. That. And we uh, there was actually like rules to that shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But now. Of course, it's you so let him. First of all, you fucking tell somebody that's a fucking broke boy that there's a possibility that if they buy this shoe, they might make a hundred dollars off of it. That's like a fucking million dollars to them. <laughs> that's why you have fucking broke fucks that yeah. would fucking show up, you know, drunk as fuck at like 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. at a sneaker release waiting. Everybody's been waiting outside since like fucking 10 30, 12 o'clock. For a pair of shoes. This motherfucker will show up at like two or three in the morning, drunk as fuck, just left the bar, cut in line, talk shit, and then when somebody fucking is like, "Yo, bro, you need to fucking go to the fucking back of the line," that motherfucker pulls out a gun. Yeah. So. So you got a bunch of fucking idiots, retards that think that they can make a living off of making a hundred dollars once a week. Same dude who calls my hat fake. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, the the thing is, like these young kids, they get fed all this bullshit. It's like all this fucking bro side and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they hang around with other fuckboys, and they're like, I don't know if this hat's real, man. And he asks his friend, and his friend doesn't know either. And his friend's like, you know what? His friend doesn't want to sound like a dumbass, so he'll be like, you know what, man? I can't really tell these pictures aren't clear enough, bro. I'm going to have to look at a little bit closer, right? And then they'll just sit there, and they'll be like, you know what? The edge of the corner on the box was a little fucking... Or like the stitching or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, the stitching is a little... It's not perfectly straight. Like, it might be fake, man, but I don't know. But I'm gonna have to say that it's fake, right? And then his and then he yeah, then his <laughs> friend is like, God damn it, I almost got ripped off by this kid, and he'll just fucking flag you. When in all actuality, these kids didn't know. I yo, I sell stuff. I like some of the stuff, like you know, like I'm always going up and down sizes. So whenever I do that, I get rid of a bunch of stuff that I know that I'm not gonna wear anymore. Uh, and when I do, that shit pops up all the time. I just sold the Hood by Air, that Hood by Air Velcro hockey jersey, yeah. right? I sold that shit to this kid in, in the UK. The kid gets it, and then the kid, remember I showed you the messages? Yeah, and yeah, the kid yeah. was like, man, this is fucking fake, bro, because like, Hood by Air has like the best quality ever. And like, the quality for this item is like not on par. And it's fucking, I don't know, man. It's fucking sketchy, bro. And like, I just don't think it's real. Hood by Air is known for their quality. And I'm like, first of all, motherfucker, if you knew anything about Hood by Air, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because Hood by Air is fucking, they don't, they're not known for their fucking quality. Like, what are they, fucking Hermes? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is you talking about, kid? Like, you, first of all, that was the first indication that you're a fuckboy, right? The second indication comes from the fact that you you bought something that you didn't even fucking couldn't tell from the detailed pictures that I took whether it was real or not, right? So I fuck he goes he was man and then he starts name dropping all these stores, right? And he's like, man, I bought Hood by Air from Selfridges London and and Colette like her open cer- opening ceremony in yeah. London, right? He start like once you start name dropping, more than likely you're full of shit, okay? Because, look, if you bought stuff from there, why wouldn't you just continue to buy stuff yeah, from there? Why the fuck are you going on fucking like, man, I eBay or opening a ceremony on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm like, look, kid. First of all, you're coming at me completely fuck, fucking wrong, okay? Like, if you look at my other listings, I have items that are up for thousands of dollars. Like, what the fuck did you think I was going to fucking, like, I was getting over on you for a $150 fucking shirt? Go fuck yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like second of all, like 
Yo, you didn't even fucking check anything. He, he, because this is what he said in the email. He goes, I checked with a couple people and they all told me it was fake. I'm like, you didn't check with anybody, motherfucker, because you're full of shit. And I fucking screenshotted the fucking receipt that I had. Yeah. From Trey Bien. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, go fuck yourself. You know? And he was like, he messaged me back. He goes, after further fucking inquiries, <laughs> after further inquiries from other respected people that I know, I have come to find out that this item is, as a matter of fact, real. And I am sorry about the way that I acted. Like, and I was like, yo, go fuck yourself. How about that? Fuck you. It was like for his birthday. I was like, fuck you, fuck your birthday, bro. <laughs> How about fuck that? your birthday. How about that? Like, yo, I've always been straight up with people. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, if you were to just click on other items that I have to sell, you would know that that hood by air shit is like nothing. Nothing. In the grand scheme of the other shit that I had listed, I, I got fucking $900 shoes listed. Like, and you think that I'm trying to get over on you on a fucking hundred and sixty dollar shirt or hundred and fifty dollar shirt? I felt really similarly. Like, yo, that's fucking dumb as fuck, man. Mm. Like, but that's that's a problem. That's a problem. You know, um, kids need to do their fucking research, and if they don't do their research, and you're not sure about an item, that was always the rule of thumb. If you can't find out whether an item is real or not, then just don't buy it. Don't take the chance of it. Think about it like this. If you take the chance and you do buy it and come to find out it is fake, you will be known for the rest of your fucking career, whether it's in fucking fashion or in life, that you were the kid that wore fake shit. So you just don't you just don't take the chance of it. That's how that was always the rule of thumb back in the day. If you don't know if it's real, then don't, just don't buy it. I mean I think that should still be the rule now. It, you know it should I mean? be, but it's not. That's the problem. Yep. I I think again, going back, I think it's because everybody just wanna be like Fresh, you know. They want to be fucking out hype. They want to impress mm -hmm. their fucking friends. They want to be hip and stuff so like that. You know. What season was the Jersey Friends? Uh, I think it was from 2013. It was like the all black out one. Okay. With the past off print. Yeah, he did the rainbow shirts. Yeah. Oh, I should have just kept the motherfucker. I got rid of it because, like, at one point when I was hitting probably 180, I was like, it was, it was, it was hugging. <laughs> it was hugging. <laughs> Like a motherfucker, so I was like, yo, I want to get rid of it. But now, now I'm at fucking like 145. Yeah. You know, like, it wouldn't be hugging no more, but I fucking got rid of it. I don't know, man. I just thought uh, uh, if I was, I don't know. Well, it's just probably just the communication with the kid. You know, it was like really what like set you like off. You know, like now he has that, and he kind of wanted still, but. <clears throat> Like, I think, like, purely just because, like, he was so... Well, the fact is, is he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't take it. responsibility for it himself. He wasn't like, hey, man, I think that this might be fake. He was like, I checked with people. And it's like, you didn't fucking check with anybody. Because you're a fucking fuckboy. You hang out with other fuckboys, okay? You guys, your whole crew is known as the crew of fucking broke fuckboys, okay? So, like, you didn't check with anybody. Like, you're just full of shit. That so was probably real. his first HBA item, you know? And, yeah, And probably. he went, like, when he if got If you it, thought $160 for an HBA item was a lot of money, you obviously don't have anything HBA. Yeah. And Do you know what I'm saying? You know, when he got it, he was probably like, oh, I don't know really like so maybe I can return it to, you know, whatever Or he I just bought. didn't know. And yeah. he just wanted to fucking be like, oh, I don't think it's real. Hood by Air is known for their quality. <laughs> Obviously, you've never had any Hood by Air, bro. Really, Hood by Air's first line, when they first started coming out with product, I'm not talking about like when they originally first started, but, yeah, but when they got big, when they initially got big, those shirts were probably made the best out of any of the shirts that they put out now. Really? I think so. I think the shirts that they put out now are a better cut. The, the sleeves are a little slimmer, the body is a little bit more fit. <laughs> yeah, the print is a lot better. That pencil print that they be using on this fucking the fire. But I feel like the, the quality, like when you got a shirt in before, when it would come, it was it was always clean. Now when I order shirts from them, like even though the print is good, like the graphic will be fucked up or it won't be clear. 
Mm. Um, there would be like loose threads. It seems more of it coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. First of all, if you're fucking buying hood by air, you're not buying it because you're you're a fucking a dedicated follower to fucking quality and manufacturing technique. You're buying it because it's that fucking it's the fucking what was on trend. You saw Rocky. Yeah. yeah, you saw Rocky, or you saw somebody from fucking DJ Mustard from Good Music wearing it. I saw a fucking Trinidad James hood by air. I was like, DJ, like, DJ Mustard, oh. no. DJ Mustard. <laughs> DJ Mustard no. needs to no. do one of two things. He either needs to lose weight, or he needs to not wear stuff like that, because it doesn't make any sense. Was, I didn't even know they made fucking hood fire that was that big. No, that's why it looked so tight on him. It was probably like... It was probably a... Like, <laughs> it was probably like a two, two, eggs. two eggs, and it's really like a three or four, maybe five eggs. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. So it was it was him basically wearing a fucking tight dress, you know? Fucking muscular. Oh, the custom form. Oh, yeah. Maybe. But then again, Shane fucked up. Because Shane was like. Shane was like, yo, jump on this. Like, help me produce this ghetto bathroom track. Yeah, it was like brand loyalty. Like, Rocky and Multiply. Oh my god, that was the most lamest, softest shit in the world. That shit is... It, that's not even... I wouldn't even call that a brand loyalty thing. I would just call that like just blatant disrespect with, Rock, what, with what Rocky did. Because both of those brands like put on Rocky. You know what I'm saying? Ventrill and fucking Hood by Air put on Rocky. Like, did you forget that like you walked that runway show? Did you forget yeah. that your fucking first video off of your fucking album? Dude. You were in all yeah, hood by no. air. You're you were wearing album. you were wearing a Four hood tracks. by air kilt. Do you remember that? Because people don't fucking forget. Okay. The Patrick Ewings, bro. Right. The first <laughs> the first runway show you ever did was hood by air, and then all of a sudden, like you were like, oh fuck, hood by air. Like all Rocky did was just tarnish his own brand. Because it's like, he pretty much just admitted that like, oh, don't listen to me because I like one thing one day and then I fucking don't like it the next yeah. day. So I obviously don't know what I the like fuck is going on. I like one thing a lot yeah. one day. Because like, yeah. you know, just yeah. So like all you did was just like hurt your brand. And, uh, I mean, he had, he had like, he tried to clarify that somehow. Like he had like some sort of he, fuck ventral, fuck exactly. Like, I, I can't exactly remember. Ventral, tip drill. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. reacted well to that though. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like yeah, Huron reacted yeah, to that the, the best. best. The best. Huron made the fucking shirt and fucking sold the shirt, which I ordered and I never fucking got. <laughs> I was never charged for it, but when he put out that shirt, he was like, "Yo, email me for anybody that wants to do the shirt." Like, Send an email to this email address. So of course I was like, yeah, I want that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like he, I don't, I don't know if he ever released them. I feel like he just made some and gave them to his friends or whatever. But like, I just don't understand it. And then also for a rapper to put that into a song, like that was fun. Kind of like, that was sweet. Rocky made the graphic for that tee. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like when I heard that shit, I was just like. I think he was worried about getting the show with I what I personally think is that they stopped seeding themselves. Both yeah. of those brands stopped giving them shit for free. But by air for sure. Because they were like, yo, like you're fucking famous now. You're worth a million dollars. Like, if you support us like we support you, then it should go both ways. It shouldn't just be me giving you a bunch Garbage of fucking bags. free shit. Yeah. And then you just being and, and then you just name dropping a bunch of other people's shit too. That don't give you free shit. Like Rick Owens, the you know what I'm saying? Like Fashion Killer? <laughs> dude. Yeah, fuck. Fashion Killer was the worst. <laughs> uh, there's a video for it too. It's such a fun I don't know what to say. I think we just got five That was like, that was like a, I get that was like a hood anthem. You know how many fucking hood, hood chicks and fucking ratchet hoes fucking be fashion killer? Yeah, like, yo, you're they're all about that shit. Even dudes, have, even dudes say that shit, man. They be saying the names of designers wrong, and not just that, but then they just be like name dropping, like out of the blue. You know how many fucking ratchet fucking bro girls that I ran into and they're like, oh yeah, like fucking. I got this Da Vinci Rottweiler. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I kind of don't mind when people like pronounce it like, 
wrong, you know what I mean? But like, it's more of like the way their actions are when they say it. When it it's, it's like they actually have it. Type shit. Yo, if you got, if, if I ever see you in person and you're wearing a fucking twelve dollar outfit on and you're talking about some fucking exactly. high end shit, I will immediately brush you off. Fucking almost auto. I will auto brush you off. Yeah. Because you're you're just you're full of it. You like, don't need a name drop. Like just have a fucking conversation with me. Do you know what I'm saying? But if, if if you're like not about that and you just try to be about that and you're just repeating stuff that you heard off a fucking rap song, like fucking that shit is lame to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. That shit is lame. But no, that's that's, that's that's you know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, yo, if you wanna talk about it with with me, yeah, let's talk about it. And like maybe you know, I mean, sometimes I'm like wrong also when pronouncing certain things. So if you can't correct me, please do. That's but, just, not know? just with fashion, though. Jay just be pronouncing the same <laughs> shit wrong all the time. That's all you words. I think it's my <laughs> accent too, though. So. It's not, it has nothing to do with your but accent. But that like lets you get away with it. It's like, your refusal. Bit. It's it's your refusal to like learn proper fucking blue ocean grammar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose that. Hey, you can't. I mean, it is what I was wrong. I learned most of my English through rap music. Alright? Yeah. And MTV Jam 